Hello and welcome to Alation Data Catalog and Data Governance Tool Review Series. In this video, we will continue to look at the business glossary, especially importing glossary terms in bulk using APIs. Alation has a good documentation for APIs at developer.alation.com. This documentation gives you guides, recipes, and API, API references. Let's take a look at a similar API which is upload logical metadata which should help us upload the glossary terms in bulk. I click on explore and it takes me to a page which gives you a neat description of what all things you need to do for uploading logical metadata. It gives you a URL that you, you should be using. It explains what the path parameters are like the template name, object type. It even gives you like the data parameters that need to be keyed in. It gives you a nice sample request body. And if you continue to scroll down, it will also give you a nice example of how do you use this API to post or upload various types of metadata. For interacting with APIs and uploading metadata, I will be using Postman tool. I have already created an account, downloaded the Postman tool and set it up here. You can refer Postman documentation for details on setting up the Postman tool. Now, before we access any API, we need to create a Alation refresh token. This token has a longevity of anywhere between 14 to 17 days. And here we see for Alation, it's actually uh, valid for over like one and a half month. To generate this Alation refresh token, the URL that you need to use is your domain at alationcatalog.com, integration and create refresh token. The parameters you need to pass are your login ID, your password and Alation API. Once you post this request onto the URL that is mentioned here, you get a token that is created as shown below. This is the token you have to again use to create an API access token. Note the refresh token has a longer longevity and the access token has a longevity anywhere between 24 to 48 hours. I will key in my password and regenerate this token for the demo purpose. As you can see, I had keyed in my password, I had sent the URL or created a post request and I have a new refresh token that is generated. I'm going to copy this refresh token and move over to the access token API. The URL or to curl or to send the request for access token API is again your domain at alationcatalog.com and create API access token. The parameters that you need to enter is the user ID that was generated and then the refresh token. Other parameters are not important. The parameters in the body are just simply user ID and the refresh token. I'll post this and I get an API access token. Now, as you can see, this is token status is active and it is roughly valid for 48 hours from 2nd March to the 4th of March. I'll use this API token. And I'll go to the create glossary page. As you can see, I'm using the bulk metadata update API to push a glossary term or an article from the Postman network and we'll be then able to see this article in the web UI side. Now, the key things to remember here is, yes, your domain name is important. The API is bulk metadata and the catalog or the template that I'm using is given here as data glossary. If you remember from previous videos, we had created a custom template data glossary. It is a template for an article and I have given the parameter as create new. In the header parameters, I'll 
paste the token that we has we had just generated the body parameters you can see this is a json object now we'll we'll give a name to this article let's say demo alation we have given a description um then def different fields and their values are depicted here like category is online sales status of this article is approved steward is a is a list and then you will have the name out here and i'll i'll now hit uh, the button send and you will be able to see that yes one new object was created let's move over to our web ui for alation here you can see we are on the web ui part of the alation account that we have host uh, we have hosted and if i go on to this articles tab and i just refresh this page here you can see the page demo alation that has been created now as you can see yes we have used the template data glossary we have put the status as approved the body contains the description that we had posted here the category says it's an online sale that we had posted here if we scroll down we can see the steward as jalinda that we had posted here and one important fact that i want to draw your attention is the glossaries because these two glossaries e-commerce term glossary and the demo alition glossary both use the same template this article is auto tag to these glossaries so if i go on e-commerce terms glossary and if i scroll down here you can and if i just say demo alation you will see you will be able to see that the article that we just posted is tagged to the e-commerce glossary as well as it will be tagged to the demo alation glossary that we saw here If I scroll down here again, you can see demo alition article or a gloss, uh, the term demo alition tagged to this particular glossary. Now, this way you can create a shell script or a Python script to call this API and ingest multiple articles at once. And as long as those articles follow a certain template and that template is attached to a master glossary you will be able to create multiple glossary terms in bulk and hence create or upload a glossary within minutes thank you